Hello heroes, Terrelther here. Today I want to talk to you about the value of fortifications. The reason I want to talk to you about this is I don't see many people building fortifications in multiplayer games, and I think that's a big mistake. Uh, the reason is it's just a value proposition, really. You know, if you want to build up your town level so that you can build higher level buildings, uh, fortifications tend to be, you know, very inexpensive compared to trying to build something like elite dwellings to build up your town level. Like, for example, let's say I wanted to build a school of magic. Let's say I'm playing Academy. A school of magic is going to cost you five wood, five dragon blood crystals, 2,800 gold. If I wanted to build level one fortifications on that same level, that would cost me five wood, 10 or 1,500 gold. So that's a big difference, not only on the rare resources, but also on the gold front. But also, what else do you get with uh, fortifications? Why really do you want to build them other than just building up your town level? Well, the other reason is they make the town significantly easier to defend. Uh, level 1 walls only have 100 uh, health. So, you know, a lucky catapult shot will take that out in one hit at any level of warfare. Uh, if they've got, you know, novice or a greater, your walls are going down in one hit. But, you know what, that's a hit. You know, you get a little bit of cover for a little bit of time. And that's worth something. And then you get the little bit of local guard. You're going to get two uh, core creatures out of your three. But where fortifications get really good is you start to upgrade them. Let's say you have level three fortifications uh, in your academy town that I was just talking about here. Your total investment into the three fortification buildings are nine wood, 14 ore, four dragon blood crystals, and 4,500 gold. Now what you get for that is you get a local guard that contains 100 kabirs, 80 gargoyles, 10 gins, and 10 apprentices. You also get walls that have 400 HP. Now that 400 HP is a big deal. In order for somebody to take your walls down in one round, they need to have Master Warfare or Grandmaster, you'll be a perfect warfare, I'll do it too, with Siege Warfare. Without that, your walls are going to take multiple turns to take down. Uh, the Earthquake spell is also another uh, option as well. That'll you combine that with the Catapult. That will take a wall section down on a level 3 fortifications. But the problem with Earthquake is you damage your own stuff when you do that. So has its pros and cons. But we just talked, that's a bunch of creatures there. You know, 100 Kabirs. A Kabir costs 60 gold. That's 6,000 gold worth of creatures. You sank 4,500 into the building. You've made your money back just on the Kabirs. Now, let's not even talk about you get 80 gargoyles as well that are worth 50 apiece, so that's 4,000 gold. You get 10 apprentices that's worth 3,400 gold because they're 340 apiece, and gins are 420 gold apiece, so you get 4,200 gold worth of gins to defend your city with. All told, the creatures from your garrison... I've got some figures written down here. Creatures from your garrison at level 3 fortifications are worth 17,600 gold. To put that in perspective in a multiplayer game, that is 8 turns worth of income because you rarely get to capital. I don't see capitals go very often in multiplayer because mainly until you get champions, you don't really need them. If you get a gold mine, you really don't need it at all. It helps, don't get me wrong, but if you've got City Hall and a gold mine, you'll be able to afford all your stuff just fine. But that's not where we stop here, because you can actually make the local guard even better. Okay, For two points in defense, you can get a skill called Town Protector. Or you just pick Miriam, since we're talking about Academy. Anyway, he starts with Town Protector. That's a specialty. And that'll increase the local guard by 60 core creatures each, and 20 elite creatures each. So let's see what that does to the math. So you get an extra 60 Kabirs. That's 3,600 additional gold. You get an extra 60 gargoyles at 50 gold apiece. That's another 3,000 gold worth of creatures. You get 20 apprentices at 6,800 gold worth of creatures. And then you get 20 gins. That's 8,400 gold worth of creatures. All told, the town protector buff on an academy town is worth 21,200 gold in creatures to defend your cities. All told, bringing your grand total for defense... For 38,800 gold worth of creatures to defend your city. And you sank 9 wood, 14 ore, 4 dragon blood crystals, 4,500 gold, and 2 skill points. That is one heck of a deal. I mean, you're getting 
what, three weeks worth of income worth of creatures? And you don't even have to buy them. And, that's, and it's not even a value play. It's not just that. It's also a tempo play. I mean, just think about how quickly these creatures come out. Kamir's normally have a growth rate of 15. You get 56 a week in your local guard because you get 8 per day at level 3 fortifications. You also get 8 gargoyles a day. Okay. You're also getting 1 apprentice and 1 gin every single day. Normally you only get 5 apprentices a week from a school of magic or 4 gins. It's insane. Not only is it a value play, it's a tempo play. Absolutely crazy. And to see that people just don't build it, it's it's a shame. They're doing themselves a dis disservice. If they ever get attacked, you more than pay, you pay for yourself, you know, at least four times over if you've got Town Protector ten times over. So, to further prove that point, I decided to do something crazy uh, this past weekend. I started a 1v7 heroic irresponsible war. Now, for those of you not familiar with what that means, 1v7 means me versus seven allied AI. Everything set to heroic against me on irresponsible war. I've got some clips to show you, and hopefully those will show you the real value of fortifications and of just, you know, defense in general. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. So, irresponsible war. We're going to... Yasir... Yeah, those of you who are, uh, what are you like, what are all those clicks? Well, uh, the starting soon screen was up. Uh, yeah, that was it. That was this. So I am allying them all against me. We'll set them all to random. Alright, so... Uh, we need to have the first turn. Normally I would do random start positions, but we've got to have the first turn. Uh, otherwise this just isn't going to work. <sighs> turn all this up. Let's do this, shall we? All right. This time, no, we're gonna get into the game this time. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so basically, the plan is we go up Paragon. Here, let me kind of show, show what the basic plan is. We're not gonna be able to expand and get Mage Guilt, uh, so we're gonna have to get our spells from the enemy. So we're gonna be taking Arcane Intuition, and we're gonna let everything come to us as they come to us with artifacts. We will just take them as they get defeated. Uh, we want to get up to Master of Magic as quick as possible. And then we'll take a point in all of these. Uh, Soul Harvest is going to be important, although we start with enough mana that it's not the most important thing. But we do have to manage our mana very, very carefully. So uh, Paragon first, a point all around, Soul Harvest. Uh, then through Meta Magic, uh, then up Prime. And then uh, we pretty much do whatever we want from there, and then just depend on what we get out of our mage guilds as well. All right, so we've got gold, gold. I don't see ore anywhere. Oh, there's dragon seal. I'd rather have blood crystals, but I'm okay with that. If we don't find ore anywhere on here, we may be restarting this. We're going to make heavy use of a marketplace. Uh, we're going to have to get a resource silo. We're going to have to get it early. We also have to get an alchemist lab. Because we're not going to be able to hold on to this ore pit and the sawmill. They're going to spend like half the game plundered. Enlightened Leader is too greedy. Uh, right now, we're gonna go Dragon Blood. And turn again. Okay. 
it, so we have no ore at all. Oh boy, this could be problematic. High threat. Wait, is, is that freaking. Do I have freaking gargoyles? God dang it. Alright, I'll be able to get my sawmill pretty easily, but that ore pit's gonna be a pain in my butt. Alright, so. Basically, we gotta hope for Sunbeam out of this. If we don't get Sunbeam, we're probably restarting this. Uh, but the thing is, you still gotta take Prime, because you, Summon Elementals is really what's gonna get you through on the defense, and... <sighs> Lightning Burst, that's not good enough on defense. Um, I mean, I guess we're, we'll try it, but... Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Well, there's Frost Bolt, but that's gonna be hard to clear. That's gonna be really hard to clear. Yes, really restart the map. Yeah, the lack of ore and then putting gargoyles as our block there really hurts. Okay, so this is much better. Much better start. Okay, so we've got blood crystal. That's, we really want blood crystal. Uh, or, yeah, yeah. This is much better, and we don't have a gargoyle block. Excellent. We're going to save this. <laughs> are these real armies coming for me? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, we got another Dragon Blood Crystal from our... Uh... From our resource silo? Damn, I am one lucky. I'm just lucky today. So we're getting attacked next turn, so Lightning Pyramid has to go up now. Alright. Here we go, boys. All right, now my local guard troops are just as important, if not more so, than the ones that my hero started with. All right, here we go. As you can see, towers are really good early in the game. Actually, I don't want to cast anything yet. Because I want to see what this uh, tracker goes for. Oh, get wrecked, sons! Okay, so here's something that I see a lot of people misplay about apprentices. The reason that my apprentice is so freaking far away from everyone else... See, okay, so this does 6 to 8 damage, because he only has half range. This, on the other hand, gets around. It also changes the damage type from prime to fire. So, if you you can get around some immunities uh, with your piercing shot. All right, now let's hope our towers actually shoot these uh, these pixies. Fail towers. What the heck, towers? Like, seriously? You kidding me here? So, 
Wow, they are shooting my gins. Okay. Now, now here's the other situation you want to look out for. In this case, since I'm within range, I actually want to fire my normal shot here. Because unlike pierce, piercing shot, see these abilities that these creatures have, they never roll destiny. So in this case, I want to actually just fire a normal shot at them. Alright, so now I need to protect the flank of my gen. And we're going to defend, and then we're going to hope that the tower shoots the freaking pixies. No? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's fine. Totally fine. Jen's probably dead. It is actually not. I am surprised. I don't know how that Jin is not dead. I believe I win next round, but I only have six health left on it. Let's do nine to 18, half over the wall, half again because of distance. And minus 10%. So it goes from nine to four and a half to two. Okay, so my gin's actually okay right now. Oh, the behemoth one does? Okay. Okay. Well, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. So desk, I thought the behemoth ability is just a little bit different because the ability is just the leap and then it does a normal attack at the end of it. Oh, never mind, or it's going to do no damage because, uh, morale. That's fair. And, alright, this is a successful defense. Healing Tent picks up the gins and the tower. There we go. No losses. Anybody else want to play? Okay, you're coming too. All right. Yeah, so uh, next turn is definitely going to be a mana core. Because as you can see, our mana, we've got 66 of 100. So, yeah. Alright, I don't have a direct damage spell, do I? No, I don't. Let's see what the hero decides to do. Tax Kabirs, that's fair. Warlord's Fury. God dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna need a heal at the end of the fight here. That doesn't matter yet, these do. Can I hit both? Uh, no, dang it. Get our heal off, so that'll heal the apprentice, I wanna say? No, heals the Kabir. Hit something important, please. Those were not important. Ah, oh, you killing me, game. Uh, yeah, let's drop our morale. 
I don't need to spell this round anyway. Yeah, get out of here. Can I hit both now? Nope. At least the AI is smart enough to not get hit by both of those, so... Alright, so that's, that's not going to be three meta magic, right? Okay, yeah, so now I'm at three. So now my heal's a little bit better. Freaking towers, you freaking idiot towers. My god. So bad. Shoot the unit that matters, for the love of god, please. Get out of here, Knowles. <laughs> and I believe this is going to be a victory. Yeah, because the tower shoots the other one. We have a few losses, but it's okay. We can deal with a few losses. Alright, yeah, they're coming for me. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we don't risk these gens. They don't really do anything for us. Actually, let's not risk these yet. Similar hit points. All those gargoyles do is just stay alive. Thank you for regeneration. I appreciate it greatly. Okay, so, so he attacked a wall there. Okay. All right. Um, first things first, though, uh, we got to get rid of these. Because those are going to tear me the hell up. What's going to be the best way to do that? I mean, I suppose I could time stasis. Yeah, I think time stasis is going to be the best answer for now. Oh, come on, really? Oh, get wrecked, sons. I definitely want to put a regen on my disciples when I get a chance. Yeah, let's shoot the thing that's going to regen anyway. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that was kind of funny. So this might kill all of them. Yeah, let's go for it. 
All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of a shot here. Yeah. Had to expect that, though. All right, so my next several turns are just gonna be regeneration. Okay, that'll work. Cast on. Alright, so we need to dispel that if we can. Uh, do I have dispel? No, but I do have cleansing light. Yeah. I still don't understand why the change in initiative doesn't move up the turn order. So we'll be all right here. I think we have to go just heal. And I guess we just accept our one lost uh, apprentice. What? I cleanse that. That's BS. I guess we're just gonna kill this, just to prevent any more losses. That was annoying. Okay. There's champions. <laughs> 